Hi students, good morning. Welcome to grade eleven business max class. So now in our last class we are learning our first chapter matrices and determinants. So in that exercise one point two we have completed seven problems. So problem number eight and nine is a homework for you. So first itself I gave the home assignment for you. So exercise one point two problem number. Seven and eight as a homework for you. Okay, so already I gave seven. Those who not completed, complete this. Then eight and nine also homework. Okay, I hope you all completed the seventh question. Those who completed eight and nine, you can do. Now I'll start from problem number ten. Okay, find lambda if the matrix one one three two lambda four nine seven eleven. So It is given has no inverse. Okay, this particular determinant has no inverse. So already solution. You know, first you take the given matrix as A. Let A is equal to determinant one one three two lambda four nine seven eleven. So in this given question, it is given as it has no inverse. So it has no inverse means since. The matrix A has no inverse. So I already taught you if it has no inverse means the A is a singular or non-singular. If it is non-singular means then it will inverse exist. Is it right? So here it is A is a singular matrix. Understand? Therefore, you know determinant of A value must be equal to zero. Understand, students? So in the given question, it is given lambda. Find lambda if the matrix has no inverse. Okay, so if the given matrix has no inverse means it is a singular matrix. Determinant of A value is equal to zero. So determinant of A value not equal to zero means only inverse exists. Is it right? So inverse determinant of value is equal to zero means inverse does not exist. So that is given in the question. It has no inverse. So you come to know A is a singular matrix and determinant of A value is equal to zero. So what we are going to do is we will find determinant of A. What's determinant of A? One, one, three, two, lambda four, nine, seven, eleven. The determinant value is equal to zero. Find out the determinant. That's equal to one into. We will cancel this and this. What's the balance? Lambda seven, four, eleven. Then minus one into this and this. It will go so two nine, four, eleven. Then finally. Plus three into the sign this it will go so two lambda nine seven equal to zero understand so that is equal to one into eleven into lambda means eleven lambda minus seven into four means minus twenty eight then minus one into twenty two minus nine into four means you will get as thirty six then plus three into nine two seven sa Fourteen minus nine lambda equal to how much? Zero. Okay, that's equal to one into eleven lambda minus twenty eight minus one into what's the value for twenty two minus thirty six? Subtract thirty six minus twenty two means we will get as four one. So minus four. Then plus three into fourteen minus nine lambda equal to zero. Understand? So we will write like this. That's equal to one into eleven lambda minus twenty eight minus of minus plus four plus three into fourteen minus nine lambda equal to zero. That's equal to multiply with inside eleven lambda minus twenty eight plus four plus three into fourteen. Fourteen into three. So how much will get? Four three is a twelve. One four three is three. Forty two. So forty two minus twenty seven lambda equal to zero. Understand? So which implies lambda you can add. That is twenty seven minus twenty seven plus eleven. Okay. So how much will get? Six one. So you will get as minus sixteen lambda. Then numbers everything together. That is forty two plus four minus. Forty-six minus twenty-eight. How much will get? Sixteen, eight, three, one. Okay. So how much will get? Plus eighteen. 
equal to zero, which implies. So how much will get again? Sorry, students. So it is fourteen. Okay. So how much will get twenty eight? So minus sixteen lambda is equal to minus twenty eight, which implies minus and minus will get cancelled. So lambda equal to twenty eight by sixteen. Shall we cancel? So how much it will come? Eight. Is it right? Here fourteen. Again, if we cancel, means how much will get seven by four? So lambda is equal to seven by four. This is hands. Understand? So only one thing is you read the question carefully. It has no inverse. It is given in the question. If it is has inverse means A is a non-singular matrix. So it is given in the question. It has no inverse. So no inverse means A is a non-singular matrix. So determinant of A value is equal to zero. So find out the determinant equal to zero. Determinant of A value is equal to zero. If you simplify, you will get the answer as lambda is equal to seven. Our next question is: If x is equal to one matrix is given and y is equal to one matrix is given, find P and Q if y is equal to x inverse. Okay, so we need to find the value of P and Q. Okay, so what are the matrix given? We will write it first. Okay, solution. What are the matrix given? We will write it here. That is, x is equal to eight minus one minus three. Then five. That is minus one, one, two. Then last one is. Ten minus one minus four is then y is equal to next one two one minus one then zero two one then five p q okay so what is given the condition it is given as a condition given y is equal to x inverse what's given y is equal to x inverse now what we are going to do in the sense we will pre multiply what we will do that is pre multiply pre multiply by x that's the meaning is both sides we need to multiply by x so what will happen x y is equal to x into x inverse understand so what's the value for x into x inverse that's equal to i already i taught you in note yeah, that is a into a inverse is equal to the value is i okay understand so what will happen x y is equal to i understand we will substitute here what's the x matrix 8 minus 1 minus 3 then minus 5 1 2 10 10 1 minus 4 y value into y that is 2 1 minus 1 0 2 1 5 5 p q is equal to what is the i matrix ma 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 this is the i matrix understand for what purpose we are pre multiplying this one then only we can find the p and q value is it right so this one if we multiply and if we equate with this one we will get the answer so you know already Seven method. Using the seven method, we are going to multiply the two matrix. So first row, first column. Is it right? So how much you'll get carefully? Do it very carefully. Eight into two. So how much you'll get? Sixteen. The next one is. Next one is zero minus zero. The next one is minus fifteen. Okay. Then first row, second column. What will happen? Eight minus two minus three p. Then here, minus eight. Then minus one minus three q. Okay. Then next one minus five into two. Is it right? That is minus ten. Then plus zero plus ten. Then minus five plus two plus two p. Then last one minus into minus plus five. So plus five plus one plus two q. Then last one twenty. Plus plus zero minus twenty. The next one. Second, ten minus two minus four p. Then minus ten minus one minus four q. So this everything you know already. Do it very carefully. That is one zero 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 one zero 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 one. Okay. Then that's equal to. We will simplify. Sixteen minus fifteen means you will get as one. Correct. Then next one. 
how much will get 6 minus 3p then next one how much will get minus 9 minus 3q then next one how much will get 0 then minus 3 plus 2p then 6 plus 2q then 0 then 8 minus 4p then next one is minus 11 minus 4q is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 okay so already you know is it right we will equate and we will find the answer okay if, I, if you need anything you can take and equate now i am going to equate equating equating the corresponding entries on both sides both sides we will equate anything you can take an equate i am taking and equating this one okay so how much will get 6 minus 3p is equal to 0 so minus 3p is equal to minus 6 this and this it will cancel p is equal to 6 by 3 so p is equal to 2 okay then we need q values it right for that you take any one of the q values shall we take uh, uh, 6 uh, shall we take any one of that so shall we take this one minus 9 minus 3q is equal to corresponding here how much 0 so minus 3q is equal to plus 9s so q is equal to how much you will get 9 by minus 3 so what's the q value q is equal to minus 3 understand this is answer so p is equal to 2 and q is equal to minus 3 so very easy so only one thing here we are doing we are pre-multiplying both sides with x understand so x into x inverse what's the value i so already I taught you in one note that is a into a inverse the value is equal to i that is i means 1 0 0 0 1 0 that is i 3 is it right. So if it is 2 by 2 matrix we will substitute 1 0 0 1 okay that's all understand I hope you got a good idea in this section. So exercise 1.2 over uh, please children I gave uh, homeworks in this exercise that is problem number 8 and 9 is your homeworks for you so same as example problem do it now itself understand so let's move to the next section of this unit next section is solution of a system of linear equation solution of a system of linear equation you refer in your book that is solution of a system of linear equations okay so here it is one equation they will give another one equation they will give we need to write it in the form of ax equal to b that's all now if you are seeing this explanation you won't get idea when we are doing problem you will understand so first you need to write this particular equation in the form of ax is equal to b then you keep x here and bring this a here so what will happen x is equal to a inverse b so this is a solution that's all understand so let's move to the question in the problems i will explain it deeply okay here they gave the two equations okay solve by using matrix inversion method don't forget if they are solve by using matrix inversion method we need to do like this okay so first what you need to do is we need to write the system in this form okay so the given system can be written as the given system can be written as we are going to write the given system as how we will write it in the form means ax is equal to b i said this is right so ax is equal to b we need to write in the form of ax is equal to b so how will you write my a means here it is 2 here it is 3 then here it is 5 here it is 2 this is a understand then x means that is capital a you need to write in the form of ax is equal to b capital x means here what are the variables x and y are the variables is equal to what are the num a constant here 1 and 7 now it is in the form of a x is equal to b if you bring a that side so what will happen a inverse b understand i hope you got it okay so first what will you do we will write the given system in this form of a x is equal to b so this is a is it right 2 5 3 2 a x how will you write x y then 1 7 now it is in the form of a x equal to b so x is equal to a inverse of b yes so where here we will write here so where what's a value ma 2 5 3 2 yes what's x here x y okay then what's the b value here b is equal to 1 7 understand first we will find determinant a why we need to find the determinant a, a inverse we need to find 
a inverse what's the formula 1 by determinant of a into adjoint of a so same thing whatever you have learned in the last section that same thing only we are we are going to do so only this much different understand so how will you find a inverse so a inverse if you need means 1 by determinant of a into adjoint of a so we need to find determinant of a and adjoint of a then afterwards find out a inverse afterwards multiply the a inverse and b and b you will get the answer understand so here you determinant of a find out determinant of a 2 5 3 2 so cross multiplying time 4 minus 15 is it right so how much will get minus 11 whether it is equal to 0 not equal to 0 therefore what will you write a inverse exists okay so a inverse exists then how will you find the adjoint of a this problem is very very easy y means it's a 2 by 2 matrix so directly you will write the answer how you will put here you will put the 2 here you will bring the 2 here for this two numbers same number but you will change the sign alone correct so this is adjoint of a now find out a inverse what's the formula for a inverse 1 by determinant of a into adjoint of a okay so now 1 by determinant of a value that is 1 by determinant of a means 1 by minus 11 into 2 minus 5 minus 3 2 okay then you know x is equal to a inverse of b yes now we will substitute the value here what's the a inverse value 1 by minus 11 a inverse that is 2 minus 5 minus 3 2 correct what's the b value 1 7 keep it in mind this one minus 1 by 11 you keep it here now you multiply this true first row first column so 2 into 1 means how much will get 2 minus how much will get 35 then second row first column means minus 3 plus 14 okay okay how much you will get that is minus 1 by sorry minus 1 by 11 minus 33 here here 11 now multiply divide each and every term by minus 1 by 11 so what will happen minus 33 if you need you can write it there 1 by 11 into minus 33 so minus into minus plus you will get this and this it will cancel you will get just 3 okay here how much you will get you will get minus is there here plus is there so minus 1 okay so this is a value for x what is capital x ma capital x is equal to x y is it right now you can equate that is x y is equal to 3 minus 1 so what's the answer for x x is equal to 3 y equal to minus 1 understand this all the things so very easy so only one thing is first you write, need to write the particular given equation in the form of matrix as a x is equal to b afterwards keep x that side and bring the a that side so what will happen x is equal to a inverse of b afterwards find out a inverse separately then a inverse and b you can multiply then find out x and y understand i hope you got it let's move to the next problem now listen this problem is also same model but here it is three equations and three variables okay so same thing only but finding that joint value here it will be somewhat difficult for you okay that's the only different so in the exercise first roman and second roman fully you need to do okay second ex exercise first roman and second roman you need to do okay then solution what's the given system the given system can be written as how we will write the given system a x is equal to b is it right now write it 3 minus 2 3 then 2 1 minus 1 then 4 minus 3 2 yes x how will I write x y is set okay here it is 3 variables then 8 1 4 okay now it is in the form of a x is equal to b so x is equal to how will I write a inverse of b what is the a value here where a value 3 minus 2 3 then 2 1 minus 1 then 4 minus 3 2 then what's the x value x y z then what's the b value 8 1 4 okay then how will you find then first first you will find 
determinant of a. Find out determinant of a. 3 minus 2, 3. 2, 1, minus 1. 4, minus 3, 2. Find out determinant. How will you do? 3 into this and this you will cancel. 1 minus 1, minus 3, 2. Then, minus of minus you will get as? Yes? Minus of minus, how much you will get? Minus of minus, plus 2. Then, this and this it will cancel. So, 2, 4, minus 1, 2. Then, last one, plus 3 into this and this it will go. So, 2, 1, 4, minus 3. That's equal to 3 into 2, minus into minus, plus. Again, it will be minus, minus 3. Plus 2 into 4, minus into minus, plus 4. Plus 3 into minus 6 minus 4. So, this and all already you have learned more than 10 problems. So, because of that I am skipping. That is 3 into minus 1 plus 2 into 8 plus 3 into minus 10. Now, minus 3 plus 16 minus 30. So, how much you will get? Minus 33 plus 16. So, what is the value for minus 33 and plus 16? 7. You will get a 70. That is equal to minus 17 which is not equal to 0. So, inverse whether it will exist. So, A inverse exists. Okay. So, A inverse exists. Next, what will you find? You will find. What will you find? We will find adjoint of A. Before that, I am writing the A matrix here. That is 3 minus 2, 3, 2 minus, sorry, 2, 1, minus 1, 4, minus 3, 2. Find out the adjoint of A. Adjoint of A means what I said. Adjoint of A is equal to A i j the whole transpose. Is it right? So, you will find the cofactor matrix for everything. Is it right? So, how will you do ma? Shall we do in same bracket? Whole transpose. So, what will happen? This Romans, this and this it will cancel. Is it right? So, 1, 2 is 2. Is it right? 2. 2. Center, what is the symbol you will get? 2 plus 3 correct 2 plus sorry this and this it will go so 2 here it is minus so 2 minus 3 is yes. minus 1 you will get correct then next one this and this it will go so 2 to sir 4 plus sorry this and this it will go is it right so here it is 4 4 plus 4 is it right but here it is minus 8. If you need, you can write all the steps. Otherwise, directly you can find no problem. So, this and this it will go correct. Then 4. Here minus into minus plus 4. But here it will be minus. Is it right? So, 4 plus 4. Outside it will be minus symbol. The next number means it will be a plus symbol. So, this and this it will go. So, 2 th to 3 minus 6 minus 4. Is it right? So, the next one here it will be minus. It will be in the outside. So, this and this it will go. So, what will happen? Minus 2 into 2. That is you will get as minus 4. is. Yes. Then, carefully. If this and this it will go. So, minus 4 plus plus 9. Okay. So, you need to find everything. Okay. I am not going to do this and all. You need to do. Okay. You need to do. When you are finding, you will get the value like this. I am writing only the value. A11 one one means you will get as minus 1. S yes, minus 1. I, I, I hope you know everything. Minus 8. Then A13 means how much you will get? Minus 10 you will get. Then A21 how much you will get? Here it is 5. Then minus 5. You need to find all the values. So A22 means how much you will get? Minus 6. Then A23 means 1. Then A31 minus 1. A32 9. A33 7. You need to find all the values. I not found it. Okay. So, Aij is equal to what is the Aij value? Minus 1, minus 8, minus 10. Then, minus 5, minus 6, 1. Then, minus 1, 9, 7. What is adjoint of A? Adjoint of A is equal to Aij the whole transpose. Find out Aij the whole transpose. Minus 1, minus 8, minus 10, minus 5. Minus 6, 1, minus 1, 9, 7, the whole transpose. Now, how will you do? Row change to column, column change to row. So, what will happen? Minus 1, minus 5, minus 1, minus 8, minus 6, 9, minus 10, 1, 7. 
this is a value for adjoint of a now what's the thing you know x is equal to a inverse of b is it right so before that you need to find a inverse what's a inverse 1 by determinant of a into adjoint of a 1 by determinant of a value minus 17 into adjoint of a value minus 1 minus 5 minus 1 minus 8 minus 6 9 then minus 10 1 7 okay now x is equal to a inverse of b is it right so x is equal to what's a inverse value 1 by minus 17 into minus 1 minus 5 minus 1 minus 8 minus 6 9 minus 10 1 7 into b value what's the b value 8 1 4 so same as this one you keep the minus 1 by 17 here using 7 method you can multiply this and this whole moment you'll get minus 8 minus 5 minus 4 then ne next row 8 8s are 64 is it right so minus 64 then minus 6 plus 36 then minus 80 plus 1 plus 28 x is equal right ok x is equal to minus 1 by 17 into uh, minus 8 minus 5 minus 4 means minus 70 this you can simplify 64 minus 6 means 70 70 minus 36 means that is minus 30 the next one 29 80 minus 29 means will get us minus 50 ok now x is equal to each and every term divide by this so minus 17 divided by 17 means you will get us 1 then this one 2 this one 3 divide and see so what is the x value x y is it is equal to 1 2 3 ok so what is the x value ma x is equal to 1 y equal to 2 is it is equal to 3 have you got it so very easy but you need to do very carefully otherwise you won't get the answer after finding the answer if you need you can put it in the equation and you can find out whether it is correct or not so now you got the answer as 1 2 3 is it right shall we substitute 2 into 1 means 2 plus 1 is it right so 5 5 correct is minus 3 5 minus 3 means sorry 2 into 2, 2 into 1 is it right so 2 plus 2 means 4 4 minus 3 means you will get 1 so 1 is equal to 1 so your answer is correct again i am repeating given system want to write it in the form of a x equal to b x is equal to a inverse of b where a is equal to x is equal to b equal to then find out determinant of a determinant of a value not equal to 0 means inverse it will be exist afterwards here children please listen here carefully i not found out all the value just i found out for first one row alone and i wrote the answers alone okay so you don't write like this in your note please find out all the answer it will be very difficult to find like this within one line otherwise uh, in the last exercise we have completed now how we will find the cofactor like that separately one by one cofactor you can find out no problem afterwards you can arrange it and then adjoint of a then a inverse is equal to find out one by determinant of a into adjoint of a afterwards x is equal to x y z after completing you can check the answer okay students now this is a time to give some some more home assignments for you that is all of you take your books and uh, refer exercise 1.3 first problem 2 by 2 okay so two variables are there so now we have completed one example that model you need to do then here this problem is somewhat uh, different because here y term is missing here x term is, so you will confuse so because of that this problem i will do for you so you need to do already i gave two homeworks in last exercise that is problem number uh, 9 and 10 i hope i uh, sorry 8 and 9 i gave the homework so in this exercise problem number 1 in the second problem first two roman is your homeworks for you understand students so same as this question you want to do please take down all the things to your note for note and do the homeworks also today itself don't leave anything study thoroughly so here uh, some more problems are left we will continue in the next class students be safe uh, i will meet you in the next class thank you